Praise be to God. Daily one mystery biography. Today's mystery Gladys Aylward. Date of birth 24/2/1902. Date of death 3/1/1970. Native place Edmonton, England. Place of vision China. Can you go to far away places alone without any financial aid and serve among the unknown people with an unknown language? crossing country after country alone on a dangerous path desperate to reach a final destination in china gladys may elwood stride for a call born into a working class family elwood quit a schooling at the age of 14 and worked as a domestic worker once she happened to read about the millions in china who had never heard the gospel eventually she joined china inland mission but was rejected after Three months due to her incompetency in learning the Chinese language, but these disappointments couldn't put off the burning desire in her. She resumed working as a housemaid to save money to go to China. Setting off in 1930 along the cheaper long route to China, through many dangers and hurdles, she finally reached Yangcheng City. There, along with Jane Lawson. Elwood succeeded in reaching out to Chinese travelers through Inn of Eight Happiness despite the hostility of locals. She toiled for the betterment of the prisoners and orphans. In the role of the government's food inspector, she not only helped Chinese women to stop food binding practice but also sowed the gospel seed in them. When the Sino-Japanese war started in 1937, She continued her stay in China believing Christians never retreat. During war time, amid dangers, she led around 100 orphans to safety in Xi'an and collapsed with exhaustion. In 1948, when communists took rule over China, missionaries were sifted rigorously. Though reluctant, compelled by friends, Elwood left China and went to her homeland after 17 years. But her heart's grown for China looked forward to going back but permission was denied by China's communist government so she went to Hong Kong and finally settled in Taiwan in 1958 there she established Gladys Aylward orphanage and worked for the orphans till her last breath beloved are you willing to end your sufferings to continue on the path on which god is leading you lord Help me to realize my call and live for it till my last breath. Let what may come. Amen.